Dance. Look. Dude. Lots of crazy stuff here. Whoa! I was wondering which episode of Voyager did you enjoy being on the most? Never in my life have I seen more men doing their makeup. Your talk? Yeah, I, I went to uh, her photo shoot, photo op, yeah. Mike Tyson's here. Let's not go see Mike Tyson. Robert Downey Jr. I do? Yes, you do. <laughs> like a clone. Let me see that picture you took. Right there. So you're gonna show your friends and tell them you saw it? Absolutely. That he wasn't he wasn't signing here, he was just here for the con. <laughs> <laughs> Today in Toronto we're at Fan Expo and we're here with Mark Okran. And Mark is a linguist, right? right? And Mark did something pretty incredible. He invented a language, and that language is the Klingon language, and this is the Klingon dictionary. This happened uh, in conjunction with Star Trek III, which is the first time I worked on Klingon, and that so was back in 1984. The chicken or the egg, the, the, the Klingon came first, and you made the language after? The Klingons came first, yeah. The Klingons were the original TV series, but they never spoke their own language. We, right. know, we know they had one. But in the very first movie, Star Trek The Motion Picture, the very beginning of the film, is Klingons. There's those words, those lines were made up by Jimmy Doohan, the actor who played Scotty. He made them up. And he just made up phonetic words. He made up phonetic words, yeah. And then you saw this and thought someone should make this a real language. No, I would think, well, Paramount thought someone should make this a real language. I got a call Amazing. from Paramount and they said, we're making Star Trek Three. the villains are going to be the Klingons. And he said, I checked around, no one seems to be in charge of the Klingon language. You want to do that? So that's not I an easy that. job. To, so is it like so in depth that you can speak Klingon? Yeah, there's people all over the world who speak Klingon now. They carry on conversations. They translate things into Klingon. Shakespeare's been translated. Into that's Klingon. right. I, Hamlet, right? Hamlet, much to do about nothing. And you wrote and you created this. I created the language. I didn't do the translation. Other no, but you created that. the language. Yeah, yeah. 
That's, yeah. that's intense. That's amazing. Bog. Bog. Talk back. Dog, look like Van McKernis. Kufa. Yablak son vakcha. Put the sick day. Bach. What does that mean? Honor. That's Honor. very important. One more time. Bach. That's not bad. It's not wrong, bad. but it's not bad. It's wrong. <laughs> What's kapla? Kapla. 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 Kapla means success. Yeah. All right, Klingons, pencils down. <laughs> okay, I have pach. Have it. Pach. Have it. Puch pa. Have it. I have chur. Got it. Nechmach. Yeah. Yep. And kreplach. Because I was sitting in my office at work, right? I had TV on, it was at night, and I just happened to glance up, and it was on the station that's showing Big Bang Theory. The opening shot is this dictionary, and then it backs up, and they're playing, oh, yeah, yeah, they're playing Klingon Bob. Penny comes in from across the hall, and she wants to watch TV because her cable doesn't work or something, and they say, okay, okay, but we're very, very busy, so you can watch it, but turn the sound off and watch the closed captions, okay? My job for 34 years was closed captioning. I said, this is the Mark Oakland episode. What are they doing here? You, know. you signed my book. Right. And I can't read it. You have to look it up. It's all, does, in, oh. it's all, all on different pages. So you're not going to tell it's, us. It's not all in one place. You're no. not going to tell us. No, you have to do it. Yeah. Well, you heard it here on Dan Space... Hey, how do you say Dan Space Van? Dan Space Van would be... Would be Dan Loch Dooch. Loch is space. Bruge is any kind of vehicle. Loch Bruge. Loch Bruge. Oh, Dan. How's it going? It's going really well. You're playing pinball in the woods. I'm always playing pinball. <laughs> I was hoping we'd go in, in the boat for a ride. I'm playing pinball. So, oh, shit. You, that, oh, was your, <laughs> that was your fault. <laughs> so, Ed, I was at your house before. You had two pinball machines in the basement. Uh, this is Jungle Queen 1977 from Gottlieb, uh, kind of the undisputed king of the electromechanical pinball machine. Objective of this game is kill all the monkeys. And who doesn't like monkey killing? Kick-ass rock band. Kick-ass pinball machine. This is a modern game by Stern. This game is amazing. Then I came back and you had four. Metallica pinball machine. Not my favorite band, yet my favorite pinball machine. Star Trek limited edition 
pinball machine. This machine, uh, as you can see from the playfield, full RGB lighting. So uh, every uh, insert, these things are called inserts, can change according to the mode of the game. This machine is beautiful, it's fast, and it's really deep in terms of code. There's a ton of things to do. I haven't even seen half of it yet. Then I came back and he had like eight. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Tom Waits is not only on the back glass, but on the play field several times. What's cooler than Tom Waits on your pinball machine? <clears throat> Miss Multiball, check it out. Oh, look how badass that is. America's Most Haunted from Spooky Pinball. They made 150 of these things in a garage in Benson, Wisconsin. Bride of Pinbot, a Python Angelo design. But look closer, pinball enthusiasts, for this is a Bride of Pinbot 2.0. The Walking Dead, another modern machine by Stern Pinball. This is an adrenaline-filled, amazing ride of a machine. I never thought I would be so into zombies. My precious. It took me 10 years to beat this machine and make it to Valinor. Bounty Hunter, 1985, Gottlieb Premier, horrible and yet awesome. And it's probably the best $400 I ever spent. Ed, you have a pinball problem, you know that. It used to be all incandescent lighting. I replaced it with LED lighting, which really suits the theme of this machine. The you took LED. out every light bulb in this machine and replaced it with LEDs. Yes. Uh, and if you see this wrap lighting around the ramps, that's another mod that I purchased and installed. <laughs> this machine is more heavily modded than I normally mod a machine. Have you ever, do you mod your car? No, I don't give a shit about cars, but I am crazy for pinball. Well, you, but you don't love the space van? I said cars, Dave. <laughs> I want you to do the same face Jeff Bridges is doing up there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. And now, I've driven all the way up five hours to your cottage so that we can go on the lake and you won't go on the lake because you have more pinball machines than you're playing. This is a new acquisition. I'm Hold on, I'm, I'm not excited done. about I'm it. I'm not done. <laughs> then I noticed your album just came out. Oh, what's that on the front? A pinball machine. Right? And that song, you have a song on here. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Silver Ball. What's it about? It's about pinball. Roll around And I stare at you You lights and sound So my next question, Ed, is Do you remember the actual moment that you lost your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just tilted the machine, too. Aww. Does it bother you when I do this? It bothers me when you touch my machine. So, you fancy yourself a pretty good uh, pinball player. I'm not What's bad. What's it called, a pinballer? What are you, a pinballist? Uh, you know what? I don't know. A, a silver ball aficionado? Well, Dan Spaceman has come all the way here to challenge big balls here. <laughs> <laughs> I've come here to challenge you on Dan Space Van to a pinball challenge that I have never seen anyone do. Do you know what this is? That's a power inverter. That's right. This plugs into a cigarette lighter in a car. You still call it a cigarette lighter. What do you call it? It's like a, it's a power port or something. Oh, well in my van it's a cigarette yeah, lighter. You're right. In the Space <laughs> Van it's for smokes. <laughs> now, my challenge is Let's see how good you are at pinball in a moving vehicle. <laughs> All right, I'm up for it. Hey, it's me talking, the Fonz Pinball. Wanna play me? Play the Fonz Pinball, a rugged machine with plenty of fast action. Pretty slick, huh? The Franz Pinball is the real thing with drag strip raceways. Lots of bumper action, too. Watch those independent action flippers. Perfect. Bells, lights, real scoring. The Franz Pinball Machine. Hey. By Coleco. Mego presents the Star Trek action figures featuring the crew of the Enterprise. Captain James T. Kirk, their fearless leader. Dr. Bones McCoy, caring for the health of the Enterprise crew. Scotty, the chief engineer, in charge of the transporter room. Mr. Spock, the Vulcan, second in command. And the Klingon, enemy of the Star Trek crew. Star Trek action figures, complete with accessories shown.
Each sold separately from Mego. Are you ready, Eddie? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> this is totally ridiculous. How's it going, Ed? It's a good thing I disabled the tilt. <laughs> this is not easy. We're the first people to ever do this, Ed. We're pioneers. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Lewis and Clark. Oh, okay, don't stop so suddenly. Can you find a flat and level road? Ow. Easy on the corners, Michelle. What's your score there, big balls? <laughs> oh my God. really nice to spend this quality time with you in the van, Ed. <laughs> I think it's awesome that the van is at the campfire. Yeah. This is a beautiful space here. Thank you. You know, I've written, uh, <laughs> I've written every song since, uh, 98 here. Really? This is where I come to write every year. I usually come up in the winter time and I sit in that front window and stare out at the lake and this is where I've written everything. Wonderful. I wrote the theme for the Big Bang Theory in the shower here. Really? Yeah. You should play that right now. A, a, a country and western campfire version. Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state. Nearly 14 billion years ago, expansion started and waked. The earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, the Andrews developed tools, we built a wall, we built the pyramids. Math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with the Big Bang. Bang! Beautiful. That must be fun to be at that song and have that song on the show. It's great. I just made up a song about um, cosmological theory. Um. My favorite part of the story is that Stephen Hawking read your song. Yeah, Stephen Hawking quoted, quoted it. it. Oh, amazing. Which was ridiculous. <laughs> That's insane. He said, many people find the universe hard to understand. It's not. In fact, it can be summed up with these 14 words. Our whole universe mm. was in a hot... And then he quoted the first stanza of the song, wow. which was incredible. Wow. wow. <laughs> and uh, I immediately wrote an email to Simon Singh, who wrote the book. Mm -hmm. And I said, dude, like, because I read your book, which I loved, I made up this silly song, because I did that, these guys who were developing a show called Big Bang yeah. contacted me to write the theme song. Because I wrote this theme song uh, and was involved with this show, um, Stephen Hawking ended up quoting my song. You know. Oh, hi. That's, that's oh, always. That's oh, always. Oh, <laughs> he wants to be on the Stan Spaceman. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? There's a Hubble. That, there's so that let's, kids' okay, movie, Hubble. Okay, enough about you. I want to interview your dog. <laughs> so, why, what's your name? That's oh. what he does when he wants you to pet him. Oh. <laughs> he incessantly humps my friend Walt's leg. I saw him doing that. Yeah. He was really into it. <laughs> I call this the paint shaker. <laughs> Do you think he likes it? He likes it all touch. I don't. I rarely see this look on his face, but he looks a bit humiliated right now. Yeah, he's on Dan Space Van getting a paint shaker. <laughs> <laughs> Otis, did you ever think you'd be on Dan Space Dan Space Van getting a paint shaker? <laughs> well, Ed, yeah, I did. It's been my life dream. Oh, okay. Well, Ed, this has been a good time, but I'm gonna climb in the van and hit the sack. Okay? Yeah. Uh, I'll be right there. I'm just gonna brush my teeth. All right. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Roll around And I stare at you Your lights and sound Am I scared of you? You could take me down 
like you said to do But hear me now I'll take care of you Light me up, knock me down I'm free game whenever you're around So lock me in, we're special bound Cause you're my silver ball Had it all There and back again I destroyed the ring On the attack again The multi-ball Was on track again Then I watched it fall Through the sand of dream Light me up, knock me down I'm free game whenever you're around So lock me in, we're special bound Cause you're my silver ball As if a verse of, about Lord of the Rings wasn't geeky enough It's a verse about the Lord of the Rings pinball machine I am the king of the geeks Silence is fine But you won't play me blind Drops in a line That reset every time I'll change your mind If I nudge you oh so carefully Setting up Hitting shots again Getting tough Making locks again If you've seen one Then they're all the same Just shoot the lights and avoid our lanes Light me up Knock me down I'm free game whenever you're around So lock me in We're special bound Cause you're my silver ball Light me up And knock me down I'm free game whenever you're around So lock me in We're special bound you're my silver ball Dan, I think you should back the space van right back into the fire because performances will never get hotter than that. <laughs> Uh, I'm afraid the gas tank's back there, you'll explode. <laughs> I'm ready for that. Relax. He really likes you.